Dave Taylor here on another adventure, and this time I'm the Outer Banks. I, I think I picked the foggy state to come down here. Uh, but uh, yeah, the Outer Banks, I uh, got uh, Kitty Hawk, which has the uh, Wright Brothers Memorial, and also I'm at the uh, Jockey Ridge State Park. What as many stops we're going to make along the truck today. Come on, let's go. After walking on some of the trails through the sand dunes, you come on to the sound side of Jockey's Ridge. It is quiet, it is peaceful here, got some pretty good views too. One of the cool things about Jockey's Ridge, we do have some quiet spots, but also if you want to be adventurous, you can bring a kite and fly in here. You can also do hang gliding here at Jockey's Ridge. Here's a view from top of one of the sand dunes. We're in Manio now on Roanoke Island. I'm outside the Roanoke Marshes Lighthouse, and this uh, lighthouse decommissioned a number of years ago. But all along the Outer Banks, there's different lighthouses, some that are still in use, and some that are uh, more like museums, like this one has become. One of my favorite places to visit when I come to the Outer Banks is Roanoke Island Festival Park. And the uh, park has uh, trails, uh, little boardwalks that take you out to the sound, and there's also a little amphitheater here. I've yet to see a show here, but I'd love to check it out sometime. The drive down the Outer Banks was a uh, was a bit, uh, no, I'm not driving right now, but the drive down the Outer Banks uh, was a bit foggy, like through Cape Hatteras, so we couldn't stop at the lighthouse on the way down. That you hear right there, we're on the ferry. We're going to Ocracoke Island right now, so we're on the ferry. And we're just uh, we're leaving this part and uh, gonna arrive in Ocracoke in just a little bit. We made it to Ocracoke Island, and on the island there's a pony farm. Now the uh, ponies, the descendants of these ponies, go back to the 1730s, and uh, the, the ponies and the horses here in Ocracoke used to be free range until about 1959, where they're corralled because they were uh, causing too many traffic accidents. The National Park Service has been caring for the horses since 1960s. Well, good morning. We camped here at Ocracoke Island last night and it happened to be a night of the meteor showers. I saw a couple of them and it was a mostly clear night. Got pictures of the stars. Pretty cool night. Nice sleep next to the uh, sound of the waves and then uh, trying to wake up and catch the sunrise. Now we're uh, making breakfast and getting ready to start our day and continue our adventures here in Ocracoke Island. When you come further into Ocracoke Island, there's trails to check out. There's also a lighthouse. There's even a cemetery that is in tribute to soldiers who passed away in World War II. There's also some Civil War history here on the island. Back on the ferry after doing a little bit of bike riding, some sightseeing in Ocracoke Island, heading back to Hatteras. Uh, it's about an hour ferry ride, in case you wondered. So you can uh, bring a lunch. You can uh, you know check out the, uh, the sights of the water, or you can even uh, take a nap. We're in Cape Hatteras, and one of the stops along the way is the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. This is not the original location of this lighthouse. It was moved a few years ago in a big project, but they brought it further away from shore. And uh, man, just check it out. Maybe you've heard of the book by Nicholas Sparks. Maybe you've seen the movie Nights at Rodanthe. The Inn at Rodanthe. That's the house that's featured in the movie. Now the movie was not filmed here, but they did use the exterior of the house. Our final stop along the way, this is the Bodie Island Lighthouse. Now here's something about the lighthouses in North Carolina is that they're located 40 miles apart. This particular one, the Bodie Island Lighthouse, is just north of the Oregon Inlet. And the light, you can see this light 19 miles offshore. Uh, this is the uh, third version of this lighthouse, by the way. The uh, first one was built and raised, and then the second one was destroyed during the Civil War. And this one was rebuilt in the 1870s and still stands here today. And by the way, still in use. You can see this beaming at night. As you can see, there's a lot going on here in the Outer Banks. Yes, you can go to the beach and you can hang out and chill and relax, but you can do some other things. You can check out the lighthouses. There's a lot of history here. And uh, not only that, uh, there's some cool little shops all along the way. I'm Dave Taylor. Thanks for watching me on this adventure.